In 1899, Valdemar Jungner of Sweden created the first nickel cadmium battery, the only direct competitor to the lead acid battery. Early nickel cadmium batteries were physically and chemically robust, and with minor improvements to the first prototypes, the energy density rapidly increased to about half that of primary batteries, which was significantly better than lead acid batteries. In 1919, a young engineer, Martin Dybeck, started a subsidiary at Hunt End Redditch of the Swedish Knife Battery Company under the name Batteries Limited, using the brand name Knife. The company was actually registered in a London office in 1918, and it began manufacturing in 1920 by assembling batteries from components made in Sweden. In 1926, Lucas took a financial interest in the company and in 1933, Chloride acquired a controlling interest and renamed the company Knife Batteries Limited. In 1929, Varta established a new battery manufacturing company, Britannia Batteries Limited, in a factory in Union Street, Redditch previously occupied by the BSA company for the manufacture of motorcycles. They began making dry batteries with the brand name Pertrix and lead acid batteries and in the mid 1930s they also, also began production of alkaline batteries using the Edison tubular and plate type designs. In 1936 Chloride acquired all Valter interests in the UK including Britannia Batteries Limited. This gave them the Union Street plant and also the Britannia and Alclum brands. For a time, Chloride continued with the manufacture in Redditch of lead acid and dry batteries in addition to the two alkaline types. But the lead acid activities were gradually absorbed by other companies in the Chloride group and they disposed of the Pertrix dry battery section. In 1947, Chloride merged Knife and Britannia to form Alkaline Batteries Limited, operating from the Union Street site. The names of Knife Batteries and Britannia were retained for commercial use. Developments and new products continued at the Redditch plant. These included new cap lamp batteries, plastic case cells, sealed pocket plate products and sintered products. In 1966, Alkaline Batteries Limited began using the Alcad brand name and was now employing over a thousand people with factories in Redditch, Southampton and Pont Henry in South Wales and with local assembly in Australia and South Africa. It had sales offices and distributed distributors in almost every country in the world. In the period 1968 to 69 Chloride bought out the Lucas interest and changed its name to Chloride Alcad in April 1973. In the mid-1970s it was decided that to be successful Alcad ranges required an upgrade and the decision was taken to move containers to heat seal polypropylene, a strong plastic, and TIG welded stainless steel which was corrosion proof and a first in the battery market. Using the new Redditch developed double needle perforation and a new multi-cranked hardware significant performance improvements were made. At the same time a massive building investment began and the result of this exercise can be seen in the aerial photograph. This shows all the new buildings built over this period. In 1982 Due to financial difficulties, Chloride sold off many of their non-core businesses and this included selling Chloride Alcad Limited. This was sold to Marathon Manufacturing Inc. of Texas, USA and the name was changed to Marathon Alcad Limited. The experience with Marathon was good and they retained ownership for five years. However, due to the financial difficulties of their parent company, they were forced to sell a number of their acquisitions, including Alcad, in 1987. The company was acquired by the French specialist battery company Saft, who embarked on the transfer of all their pocket plate manufacture from their site in Bordeaux to Redditch. However, in 1991, 
Saft acquired the Swedish company Knife AB, who were in financial difficulty due to a large manufacturing investment. And in 1993, <coughs> the Alcad factory in Redditch, in Redditch was closed and all production moved to the Swedish factory. The Redditch site was now derelict and it would be some time before the site could be declared safe for other use. The Alcad brand name was retained and still continues to be made and sold. 